Last night we told you excessive speed is what state investigators say caused this roller coaster to go off the tracks in Daytona Beach. New tonight, we're asking the man in charge of the agency that inspects these rides. That would be Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam about this report. New 6's Jerry Askin spoke with the commissioner today in Marion County. And Jerry, you learned that this ride may not reopen. Eric, exactly. Commissioner Putnam today saying his inspectors have red tagged this ride, which means the ride can't open again at least until the investigation is complete. He was in Marion County today speaking for his run for governor. Today, Florida's Agricultural Commissioner Adam Putnam spoke to veterans in Marion County as part of his run for governor. The fact that we are putting together uh, this veterans task force. But after he spoke, just calm down, just don't lose. We asked the commissioner about this derailing roller coaster last month in Daytona Beach that hurt several people. This after a newly released state report from outside engineers. The operator was uh, was running that ride faster than they should have, particularly for the conditions. New photos show you grooves here, and you see the ride's wheels came off. The engineers said they found evidence the ride had derailed before, but said previous derailments were never reported. We have subpoenaed the maintenance records of the operator. They have refused to comply with us, so we're using all of our legal means to obtain those records. The commissioner is saying it's too soon to say if perhaps there could be charges. The ride was shut down for a month before the accident for a failed inspection. The commissioner is saying his team does not believe the issues during the inspection last month played a factor in the crash. But I asked him how his guys missed these same issues. They are not the types of things that would have been uh, seen to the naked eye by our investigators. They should have been picked up by the engineer that is required to do an annual inspection of that ride. And that engineer, he said, ought to be hired annually by the ride's operator to verify the ride's structural integrity. Meantime, attorney Matt Morgan is representing several riders who, was, who were hurt. He said a lawsuit will surely more than likely be on the way. Meantime, the attorney for the ride's owners told us today, uh, well, never got back to us today, but did release a statement yesterday saying in part uh, they're reviewing the state's report and they're fully cooperating with the state's investigation. We're live in Marion County. Jerry Askin, News 6. Yeah, still a lot of questions about this, Jerry. Thank you.